Hello, everybody, and welcome. I, I, I fucked up that intro. I'm going to keep it in. Go, um, go, go! Move! <laughs> um, Fuck hello, it. Let's everybody, do it live. and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We're jumping in again. Last time we played a shared, and I absolutely fucking destroyed with Full Metal Jacket. It was pretty awesome. Uh, so much time, so that I'm considering nerfing it. I feel like for, for players that aren't as skilled as me, it won't be an issue. No. <laughs> to be fair, I did just, I did just basically win by players... racking up an infinite amount of blanks. <laughs> Players who aren't as skilled as you shouldn't be playing Shade. That's true. Um, ooh, we started um, off with the Tear Jerker and Rando rounds. Um, two Rando. I still need to add on the fucking mod that shows you your stats. I keep forgetting about that. You know what? I'm going to do a restart. No, you are, the you are just an old man. You are just an old man. It's like, how do I work the TV remote? I forget to install mods all the time. It's stupid. It's. Stupid. When was the last time. Uh, when was the last time there was an intro to something we did together that actually worked? Oh, I don't know. Never. <laughs> I, I'm I'm being a bit picky here, but I'm going to try and get something good to start with. Hold on. You are such a Mr. Resetter over here. I am. The Helix plus Cleansing Rounds. Um, Hallowed Bullets even. We're so blessed that they preach... Um, so this is the one that de-jams bullets, isn't it? Yeah. D jams enemy bullets midair. Let's go for a cast run then. Mr. Resetter. It's just like, it's like when I've already beaten the game this many times and I really don't need good things to win, particularly, I might as well just re roll until I get things that are fun or like new modded things or things that let me play the game differently to start the episodes, just because they're a bit more enjoyable to watch, I think. Um, and I haven't used my, my cursed thumbnail in a while, so I was kind of looking for a cursed room without playing all jammed mode. Oh, sorry, when you said cursed thumbnail, my brain didn't catch up for a second. I thought you meant the, like, the skinless husk <laughs> of a melon. I can use that if I want. I did, I don't know if you saw the episode, but I did for one entire gun, uh, Isaac episode just keep that on screen. No, I saw it. I saw it, and there's Every, no way anyone who saw that could forget it. Everyone on the comments was like, keep it forever, never remove it. Everyone really likes it. So I'm thinking of that becoming my new channel icon. Someone did say yeah, if I ever make a second channel, that has to be the uh, my channel's logo. Yeah, Tootle Melon win. <laughs> Tootle Melon, oh that's terrible. I do I've kind of told you that... I appreciate you laughing because I've told you that one at least twice before. Yeah. So you know it's good. It's good to know that you're just, just like my dad and laughs at the same joke each it's just, time. It's still just as terrible to hear. So it's kind of like <laughs> uh, it's like a dad joke. You hear it a million times, but you still got to chuckle at least a little bit because it's that terrible. Um, but yeah, I do kind of want to. Uh, I've, I've mentioned this idea to you before. I do kind of want to maybe just make a channel for me and you to do stuff on. Um, because I feel like I could upload, like, the uh, Half-Life series and then what we've got Portal upcoming and stuff a little more regularly, um, and in maybe different sized parts if I had, like, a separate channel for it. Because I, I basically, I just don't want to flood the main channel with stuff that isn't main channel content. Um, so... I mean, I, I, mean, I don't, at, I don't at the end mind, of the day... I don't mind uploading up, it to my main channel, I really it's, don't. It's up to you, but... One thing that you should remember is that you get to decide what is main channel content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, I'm also mean, like, for me, what classes as main, main channel content is, like, mainline roguelikes. Um, anything where I'm playing, like, a, a like a roguelike or, like, a single-player game sort of on my own. But I feel like, when, especially when it's long-form recordings like we do with Half-Life and stuff, while I, I I do completely I'm completely fine with putting on the, on the uh, main channel. There's definitely a, a different subset of viewers that watch that content, as indicated by the the uh, amount of views they tend to get. So I think that they'll potentially over time maybe do better on a separate channel, and it means it doesn't appear in the feed for people that don't watch it, sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure. It's not a lot of the gems. Okay. Good um, idea. Good job, buddy. Um. This, what yeah, that this? Uh, turns dead enemies into friendly uh, undead. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. It it works on enemy corpses like melting, uh, like melted rock does. Yeah. I like the idea of that. That's worth having a lot of the jammed around me for. Can I re revive this turkey? Uh, I think if it leaves a corpse, you can. Nope. 
God damn it, oh, Apache. it revives them as these things. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that then? <laughs> One of the gem just went fucking flat. Okay, Lord of the Gem is very broken right now, and I do not know why. What? Oh, I think this is a thing with one of, uh, I think, I don't remember if it's one of Bunny's mods or someone else's mod, but basically, <laughs> they were fucking around, it's either Bunny or Bot, they were fucking around with seeing what they could do with the Lord of the Gem's attack patterns to try and mix him up, and so they were trying to figure out if they could run code when the Lord of the Jam attacks. And to test it, they made, uh, they replaced his attack with <laughs> applied knockback. <laughs> so and Bunny's they given forgot me an, to remove it. Bunny's given me uh, the latest update of his mod and forgot to remove that. So now Lord of the Jam is it's, just an it's absolute It's either Bunny or Boss. I don't, I don't remember who I, it, it, must, who it I think was. It it's must either Bunny be or Bot. I think it, unless I just haven't had it, uh, Lord of the Jam, in a really long time, I think it must be Bunny because I've just updated Bunny's mod today. Well, either way, uh, this run's probably going to be a lot easier. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I can kind of understand where you're coming from with that. I just sort of... I feel like sequestering stuff away is a sad necessity of the way YouTube works. It is, it is. It def it's definitely something I'd rather not do, but I feel like, I, I genuinely feel like the content could potentially actually get more views on a separate channel. Um, like, yeah, that's I, know, fair. I know it would take more and time to build if up you, a viewership. If you, oh, God, you, you, if you actually advertised your second channel on your main channel, anyone who wanted to watch that could just that's subscribe the, to the That's exactly the point, because generally, from, from what I've seen before, the content that I do with you that's like other games, like this this stuff, this does, 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 does really well, just as well as any other. In fact, in fact people really like it when you join for the roguelikes. Um, but, um, I think that's so fucking funny with this dude just flying off. Uh, what the hell is this? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm guessing this is DT, and I'm guessing it's made by... I'm almost certain this is going to be made by Nitro Gunfight. Yeah. It's just, you can tell it's a sprite work. Um, I think I vaguely remember that being made, actually. I, I don't A Lord of the Jammed will probably still fuck up shops, so maybe don't linger. What the fuck? Why did them two just disappear oh. like that? No, no, I know what it is. See how they're in other parts of the room? I can't shoot right now. Oh, they got relocated because they were too close to the entrance. Okay, well that didn't yeah. work out. Yeah. It's really interesting how that happens. When that happens in rooms that you can already see, it looks so weird. Yeah. Whoa, this thing fires fast as shit now. Is that because of platinum bullets? Or was it just firing really slowly before? What the hell? Um, it's entirely possible that the gun is broken. Yay! <laughs> I hate to break it to you. It's just entirely possible that something's gone wrong because you said you couldn't fire it for a while there and all of a sudden it comes back. Oh and... shit, the explosive barrel. What? Do I have anything? Ah, damn it. Um, um. There could be something in a another room. I don't think there's anything explosive I can bring to this room, is there? Anything I mean, fire-based or explosive-based? You can push explosive barrels. Yeah, but there, there won't be any on this floor, is what I'm saying. Like, explosive they, barrels they, they can generate. They can generate on this floor, but uh, I think it's unlikely. Damn it, what I should have done is pushed the oil barrel all the way to this. <laughs> that would have worked. It would have worked. Do you have anything mm. to go to the Ubli yet? I think they already destroyed the water barrel. You think? I'm Are you going to at least check? I am. What the hell is it? Here it is. I'm pretty sure they already destroyed the water barrel. I mean, there could be a second water barrel somewhere. Yes, they did. Right. Um, there's always another well, water barrel nearby. Uh, you'll just have to, I guess, settle for uh, going to the new floor and having keys for all your chests and being happy and getting loot. Big sad. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I was saying, oh. like, I, I, just, I was going to say, as I was saying, like, this content does really well, but generally the the content where we play, like, long-form games, it's understandable because it's not really the regular channel content, it tends to get between 100 and 300 views, it's 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 significantly less than normal, which, I, like, I've, I've always said, I don't actually care because I never, when me and you play those games, I'm not really playing them for YouTube, we're playing them together, and we might as well record them for YouTube is the way that we usually do it. Um, so I'm not that bothered that they don't get that much views. 
compared to my other content. But at the same time, I think it's possible. Oh wait, I think the gun just jams sometimes because it's jammed again. Look, let's 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 read. Let's find out. Yeah, um, let's learn to read. In, uh, increase. Uh, uh, yeah, the it gun... says. Okay. It, it says it's prone time, to jamming. Um, the gun is jammed to clear the mechanism. Interesting. Right. Because... Actually, I remember. I remember Skeletor talking about this. I just didn't know it was this gun that had the jamming mechanism. I like it. It's pretty cool. I like um... it as the Lord of the Jammed whizzes past. <laughs> That's so um, funny. What I was going to say is, like, you'd need to actually put effort into maintaining a second channel, and yeah. sort of like making sure that people know about it. Well, is for the one, thing. For one, I already do have a second channel. I've already got one. You set what? Up. I, there is there is currently a single video on it, and that is it. Where is it? I need to find this. What's I it called? I can't remember what it's called. I think it's just called Turtle Melon. It's not called the Turtle Melon. It's just Turtle Melon. Uh, fuck. Let's. Oh shit. Um, okay. too many YouTube tabs open. No, fuck. It has. Uh, it currently has one subscriber, and I believe it's me. Okay. Turtle Melon just brings up the main channel. Yeah, like I said, uh, I, don't think, I don't think it'll be oh, that easy to uh, find. There, so, oh god. Um, okay, there are actually a few other channels called yes. Turtle Melon. I know, I know. None of them are there established, There is, though. uh, this art guy who uploaded a, not art, I guess, some videos. And he has a, an art Twitter. Yeah, I've, I've, come know, across, I've, I've had people come across that imposter. guy before. Imposter! Imposter! Yeah, I've, I've had people come across that guy before when searching for me. Um, last... Last... Oh, so, he's been... Actively, it looks like... I'm just trying to find out what the hell is going on. <laughs> so... He has been active on the art Twitter within a few years oh yeah okay that's sexy pokemon art oh, um no it was it was in his defense it was one of the human characters and it wasn't naked it just has big tits and <laughs> uh i'm not gonna it's i'm not gonna oh that's another okay um okay so he seems to have retweet some uh nothing uh <laughs> like um <laughs> okay well he seems to be a man of culture who likes his big tits and also isopods. Maybe it's just me and I'm lying. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. <laughs> okay. So anyways, yeah, they they have been doing stuff. But yeah, I'm going to say, it will be so, kind of hard to find my other channel just because there's like literally nothing okay. on it. There's like so one that's, video. So that's one turtle melon. And uh, there's also another turtle melon with 36 subscribers that is the profile picture is literally a turtle made out of a melon. Uh... And they have been uploading Roblox and Terraria videos. Since when? When was the last one? Uh, last one was six months ago. Yeah. Oh! Horrible. I got an amazing combo in Repentance! Featuring Dr. Fetus, Quadshot, and more. So... <laughs> oh heck. Um, Portable Tesla that runs... They're encroaching the, uh... on your territory. Ooh heck. It's interesting. I think it's interesting to me. More precedent to have the name, but so it's okay. And I probably had it for longer. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's interesting to me that like turtle melon is something that people would think to call themselves. Because no offense, it's a stupid name. It's a, it's a, it's a stupid as shit name. I came up with it when I was fucking thirteen. Like twelve. It's a or stupid 13. name. It's, and it's a dumb. It's it, a dumbass name. Like it surprises me that more than one person on the planet has named their YouTube channel. I know. Turtle Melon. The the only reason I stuck with it is because it sounds like a YouTuber's name. <laughs> it sounds like a dumb. Allegedly, one, but it does sound like one. Like it's, okay, it's, and it's original. It's not like got a bunch of numbers in it or anything like that. Oh, I th I think I see it. I think I see this one. I scroll down, a ways down the page, and I find cardboard cutout looking turtle melon yep, with a video mine. called Me Me When Blood Puppy.
so basically, 42 seconds. I basically, when Isaac was like, when Repentance was a few months old or like four or five months old, there was a lot of videos blowing up that were like really, really short videos. Um, the like everyone was jumping on the bandwagon. So I tried a few of them on my main channel to see how they did and they didn't do great. So I was told by a few people, hey, it's really worth starting a new channel and seeing how they do on a new channel. So I did and I tried it and it, it, it didn't get any traction. So I was like, eh, I tried. <laughs> it's just you rambling incoherently about how much you love blood puppies thick ass. Exactly, um, it is. But about anyways, that... nothing, nothing in the about tab. So yeah, exactly. I didn't really don't do anything even, with the channel. You, well, not even you don't even feature your main channel. No. In the like, like I said, it was literally a test, and that was it. I didn't advertise the channel on my main channel. I didn't talk about it. I didn't tell anyone about it. I was just doing a test, and that was it. That's why I made it. Everyone, um, go subscribe to the Turtle Melon and but... comment, and and comment on me when Blood Puppy verbatim comment. Not gonna lie, this is totally me when Blood Puppy. <laughs> Everyone, go do that. Yeah, go do that. But that that is the channel that I would use if me and you start doing content content on there. But oh shit, one minute. Um, oh damn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for a moment. A meeting just how started. Long, how long is a moment? One second. I'm gonna pause, guys. We'll be back in a sec. Right. We a are very back. important meeting to figure out. Very important meeting to figure out who pissed on the bathroom floor. Exactly. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, we were talking about the alternate channel idea thing, and I was, I was just about to say, before I was so rudely interrupted by my day job, goddamn, um, that I, I, I was trying to think of some sort of cringy name for the channel that was like a merge between Never Named and Turtle Melon, but I couldn't think of a good one that was like cringy. Oh, the ship name. The ship <laughs> name is what you mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was trying to think of something like really cringy, and, but I just couldn't think of a good one. Tootlemelon, just call it Tootlemelon. That's terrible though, that's so bad. I, but it's, it, isn't that what you wanted? Oh god. <laughs> I'm scrolling down further on this list and there's a bunch of like, some videos from children. Uh, I did it turn in my Tootlemelon. And just well, another video called Tootlemelon. One, one thing I have seen is apparently Turtlemelon is a, like a semi-popular Japanese food. Like it's it's like it's 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 bread that's like shaped like a turtle with a melon shell. Oh, I see that now. Yeah, it's come up quite a few times. I don't know how popular it is, but it, it's come up more times than I think is reasonable for it not to be like a super popular thing. Oh, another YouTube another YouTube channel, Turtle Space Melon from 2014, with a picture of a dog as the profile picture and one video. Which seems to be that same dog uh, running around. Nice. You've got you've got competition. <laughs> Who heck? God, it would be so funny if, like, as a joke, like an April Fool's video, you like made contact with all these different turtle melons <laughs> and got them to record with you. <laughs> Like obviously, so I, don't, I don't think you, I don't think you'll be able to get a hold of the dog. But like <laughs> those uh, other two channels, like the uh, a Twitter artist and the uh, Roblox Let's Player. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that'd be great. And then someone's got, and then for the content, someone's got to make a Roblox Binding of Isaac game mode mod where everyone has big tits, just so it's encompassing every person's main attribute. Oh, yeah. God, no, no, actually, no. I, I'm thinking about the context of that now. No, no, you shouldn't do that. Oh, Lord. Ooh. <laughs> have, have those been made more dangerous? I don't know, but all of them set up at once. Yeah, like, that's either a bug or Apache is intentionally trying to make those more dangerous. Very possibly, because they're not very dangerous. Do you know what? What more cares? Why not? I mean, you may as well. <laughs> um, I, I do think Tootlemelon is a good name, and you can people, also use it as like a, a, a stream archive. Yeah. People, st um, please suggest channel names for that channel. <laughs> don't Tootle suggest. Tootlemelon is, suggest is, is good but terrible. But, ooh, Don't suggest out. channel names, just agree with me and say Tootlemelon. 
But it, it would be kind of funny to have, like, your name in there somewhere as well. No, I don't want to be in it. <laughs> it has to be, to be Tootle Melon. <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it does kind of mean that if you incorporate my name in it, it means you can't post it other, like, offcuts that are just you. True, like, true. Like, dumb shit where it's like, oh, this video recording went really terribly and I only got, like, five minutes, but something really funny happened in that five minutes. And I want to post it somewhere, <laughs> but not on the main channel. That sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you incorporate my name in the channel, people will be like, well, where's Nevin there? This is his channel, yeah. too. Ooh, I love the I love these firm dart bullets, and I actually have a firm shooting gun too. So yeah, yeah. Why is there no synergy? Oh, they were the... Because they're from different mods, knob. Cross mod synergy, God. Yeah, pos cross mod synergies are possible, but I really don't care for it. Right, what the hell did I pick up there? A booster shot has a chance to fully heal you when you take damage. And the artillery belt will randomly shoot at enemies in combat. Like, it just shoots a little bullet at, at, at enemies. It's from, okay. From, from my person? From your person, yes. Okay. Oh god. What's this? Well, use it and see. Ooh. It's interesting. Ow. It is a gun that transmogrifies enemies on hit. Into random other enemies? Yes. Nice, I like that. It's so stupid, and it's actually something a friend uh, pressured me into adding. <laughs> so if you see, actually, if you see, um, occasionally random bullets are coming out of your character yeah, and just that, yeah. firing towards the boss, that's the artillery belt. Uh, it's on a, like a random timer. Yeah, it seems, it seems decent enough. Extra damage, why not? I like the fact that you can have multiple of these. These Tezzles. Oh, we finally got one of these shops. Oh, um, giant. God damn it. But yes, that gun is uh, from something that I do not like. I actually do not like the thing that that like transmogrifying gun is referencing. But a friend really likes it, and was like, please, 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 please edit, please, it would make me so happy, please. And I'm a sucker, and I, you know, I just do what people want, unless it's what you want. Interesting. I'm seeing what um... all of my mesh guns do. <laughs> okay. Oh god. What the hell? It looks like it's messing up because it's not, like, properly carrying over the shoot style, maybe? Yeah. Because I'm also noticing that I'm firing, like, bouncy cue balls out of the toy AK, which seem like they could be incredibly strong with how fast the AK fires. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, so that, uh, that transmogrification gun is from an animation project... called BT-21, which is a animated cartoon series <sighs> vaguely related to the K-pop group BTS. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> but I have a friend who is really into K-pop, and Do you mean have they... or have? I have a friend, <laughs> allegedly, and they they like the music, but they also like the peripheral projects that these artists produce. And I uh, I'm really not interested in the like overly cutesy, like sickeningly saccharine style. Yeah, same. <laughs> But one of the characters has a ray gun that transmogrifies shit into random other shit. And... You're like, please, 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 I, you should add this to your mod, please, it'd be great, it'd be really cool, and it's a gun, so you kind of have to. <laughs> and I, I did it just to make... I did it to make them happy, and I, I really like the effect of the gun, the, the way that I have made it. I do not like what it is referencing, but I like the gun, <laughs> if that makes sense. Did I just get two of the primal items? 
I did. I've got the primal sulfur and the primal charcoal. Um, so it's two things that are happening. Four enemies are marked, and reloading an empty clip creates a cloud of charcoal dust around the player, causing nearby enemies to take more damage. Interesting. Yeah, I would say. Uh, I know that Sophia was trying to make uh, those items make each other more common. Um, doesn't matter because the game's crashed. Give it a minute. <laughs> Technically, this. I'm pretty sure this isn't a crash, it's a freeze, because the game is still open. And that actually is an important distinction. You actually do want to make the distinction between a crash and a freeze. Can you do anything? Can you nope. push any of the, like, console nope, buttons? I tried. I can't. <laughs> Alright, well, Alt F4. Big S. I'm going to pause the recording one second. Okay, we're back, and luckily, as you can see, it let me back into the run, but now I don't have anything merged anymore. Like, my mm. my merges have gone away. So Yeah, I'm just trying to look at that uh, fucking output log, see what... Fuck, shit. See where it ends. Yay. Um, and then let's just go give chaotic... No, shift. I don't there think you. this actually... Okay, so I'm going to have different chaotic shifts than before, which is slightly annoying, but... It is what it is. Oh um, yeah, because because chaotic shift isn't a uh, an actual item that is in your lists. It's not going to run its pickup code again nope. when you reload a save because Gungeon's fucking stupid goddamn pickup code is fucking bullshit. I don't know what's going on um, with this, by the way. Uh, tentacles. So why is there so many magazines? <laughs> like what was it's probably, again, Chaotic Shift not knowing how to handle shotgun-style weapons. Um... Oh god, I might so, die. So, for anyone unaware, Gungeon's save and quit is absolute garbage. Um, all it does is, like, save your stats, or, like, saves your health, saves your whatever, saves your, um... The, the, your list of... the IDs of stuff that you have. So, if there's anything special about those uh, items that isn't there when you pick them up, like let's say you pick up a gun and then do something in that run that changes that gun's damage, like give it a specific damage buff, like, that like, doesn't like the, get saved. Like the meat bun glitch. What meat bun glitch? Um, ooh, this is cool. If, if you uh, activate meat bun, then save and quit, and then come back into the game, the meat bun damage upgrade is activated forever. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, Gungeon's save and quit is very slap dash and sort of blapped onto the game. It's not very good. And uh, oh god, I'm I'm genuinely gonna die here. I keep being hit by jam bullets. It's it's really recommended that you don't use Gungeon's save and quit. But again, sometimes that's not possible because of shit like this. Yeah. You have a gun that uh, has keys that can open chests, but if you shoot it at a chest, you will 100% destroy the destroy chest. Destroy it straight away, yeah. Oh my, oh my. Go away now. More ammo. Uh, I guess this. Why does it, it doesn't actually fire the frost giant, which is funny. Frost Giant doesn't mm. fire at all. I wonder if it might be a problem with the... I actually fucking died. Doesn't matter then. All this you've effort. You've been... You've been off your game, mate. I mean, to be fair, that was high curse, and the game was fucking stuttering like an absolute biatch. I don't know why, but it was stuttering let's, really badly. Let's have a... Do you think we have time for a quick attempt? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go back to the breach. I only have another, like, half an hour, but, yeah, I do. Well, you know, you just have to die early, you know, die young. Live fast, die young. That's what they say. Wait, one minute. Um, hmm. One second, I need to check something. My audio sounds really low. I need to check to make sure my mic is working correctly, because sometimes, after having a Teams call, it decides to lower my volume. Luckily, it hasn't this time, though. I'm just stupid. Right, what, what are we doing? I, I could have sworn you were going to be like, I have another meeting. No. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, maybe try Gunslinger. Why not? He's pretty powerful, so you Gun should be able to go fast. Robots in disguise. Let's go. Um. <laughs> Sorry, my brain died. Uh, on a completely different note, are you familiar? Are you familiar with um, the Omentum? Nope, I've never heard that word in my life. It's my favorite organ in the human body. Where is it? What does it do? It's in the lower abdomen, and it sort of sits around the intestines like a like a fat, greasy sack. It's it's like a it's like a a sack of fat that sits around your intestines, right? Okay. <laughs> and it actually has a really important role in immune response. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Is this the one where if you didn't have it, your body would essentially kill itself by producing its own diseases? I have no idea what that means. Um, are, you the, are you trying to talk about the thymus? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the name of it. But there's there's a there's a thing in your body, an organ or whatever, that uh, basically responds to the way that your body creates its library of defenses for white blood cells and the thymus it must be the that's thymus the thymus yeah that's what i thought you were. the thymus the thymus is in your like chest like above your heart <laughs> that's what i thought you were referring to i don't know the organs i just the omentum it sits around the intestines <laughs> and it's actually really cool because it it like administers immune response. It, if something goes wrong, like if you get like a rupture or an infection in your intestines and some shit goes down, the omentum sort of slides on top of it and engulfs it like a fat slug and helps <laughs> in administering the immune response. And I think that's really cool. It is like, kind of crazy that, yeah. If, if there have been people whose like appendixes have burst and they've survived and in surgery, the omentum has been found like entirely shifted to one side and wrapped around the appendix. Fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like an alien living in your guts. Another another alien living in your guts. There are many. Yes, there are many. Say hi. I'm not saying hi to mine now. He's, he's not done anything for me yet. I'll start saying I just, hi to him I just, he does something for me. I, I love weird organs like that, you know? It is, it is kind of strange to realize the amount of different parts of your anatomy that you never get taught, like in school. Like, you get taught about all the general anatomy, but there's a lot of anatomy that you don't learn about that's like... <laughs> yeah, there's just like a, a, like a... There's like a, a sheet, and it's like, That's your heart! That's your blood! That's your lungs! That's for breathing! <laughs> that's your kidney! That's... We don't, we don't have time to explain what that one does. Uh, <laughs> that's your bladder! That's for pissing! That's your brain! That's for thunking! Done. Done. That's the human anatomy. Everything else is superfluous. <laughs> you could literally remove everything else and you'd be fine. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird how they do that. I, I understand that they want to make it, like, more digestible. They, they don't want to overcomplicate nice it. Nice pun. <laughs> but they don't want to, like, overcomplicate everything. But at the same time, it is kind of like, there's a lot that you're leaving out here. There's also, um... Stuff like, uh... Oh lord, this thing is accurate as hell. Oh yeah, that thing, that thing fully synergized is crazy. Um... So, there's another organ that was actually only discovered in 2018. What the fuck? Which, when you think about how... Yeah, that how, wasn't even possible. It's, it's called the interstitium. Interstitium, or interstitium? I don't... I'm gonna say interstitium. And it is like a membranous collagen layer that goes throughout your almost your whole body, and it's full of water, and it's uh, like a like it's a collagen membrane filled with water that sits around all your important bit, and like even around your muscles and stuff. And people never noticed it because when you take a sample of human flesh and examine it under a microscope. That sample has been dried, and when the omentum is dried, it compresses into a what looks to be a, like a flat layer of collagen. So, for the longest time, scientists were like, okay, and here's the human body, and there's just some collagen there, and nothing really of note, and move on. But actually, when in a living body, that is a 
it is full of water and it's a membrane and it's a shock absorber so it, it's, it's, like to... a, it's like a protective layer around your skin and around your your entire body that's just like like you said there to be a shock absorber there to make yeah, sure you can it's take there... a hit a little easier it's there to absorb impact and help protect you from that sort of stuff it, it's the part of you that squishes so other parts don't have to and the fact that nobody really noticed it for the longest time is that's, amazing. Yeah, that, that's actually crazy. That's the interstitium, that's for but squishing. Like, but like, so you say it's like full of water. It's like this, this, I mean, I'm guessing it's very thin, but even still, wouldn't it be like when a live patient comes in with some sort of injury, wouldn't there be like trace amounts of water in the blood and that'd seem really weird? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's already quite a lot of water in your blood. No, but I mean, like, like it's all, like, that's all mixed in. I, I mean, like, water just on yeah. its own. I suppose it would be mixed in by then, I guess. That's all. But... <laughs> One of the most important properties of water is that it mixes with things. Yeah, that's, that, that's very true. It's it's not like the water comes out. It's like it comes out in two separate puddles like, and one's clear like, like and a... one's got the blood bits in it. It's, it's and like, it's like mm, yes, this is, some, yeah. this is some suspicious water. It's like oil, yeah. <laughs> like, can you imagine if when you bled, the blood came out, and then it just separated into different puddles, and like, one of them has the red stuff, one of them has the yellow stuff, one of them is the water. Can you imagine how weird that would be? Yeah, that would be quite strange. In, in Turtles World. Meanwhile, he's thinking like, ah, oh, yeah, that's so weird. That doesn't happen. Right, one sec, I'm just going to pause one sec. I am back. Let's carry on. Apologies. You ready? Okay, this thing doesn't have any synergies, that's sad. But so yes, it was the human body is kind of crazy. The organ was discovered by Petros Benias, uh, David Carlock, and uh, Neil Thies. And they've got a picture of Neil Thies on this article, and it's really weird because they've they've cropped it really weirdly. It cuts off at his eyebrows oh. and at the bottom of his chin. And <laughs> it's like it's like he was really a, wearing a really like silly or offensive hat, and they had to cut it out of the photo <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, for a while, doctors didn't knew because we've known how much water was in the human body for a while <laughs> through means that are probably less than ethical. Yeah, if you think about it. But uh, we've known how much water is in the body, but we've not known where all of it was because for a while, twenty percent of the water in the human body was actually unaccounted for. It couldn't be found in the blood, it couldn't be found in the other bits and pieces. So, they didn't know where it was. Eventually, uh, after the discovery of the interstitium, they realized... Oh wait, this stuff is in the interstitium. There's ten liters of fluid in that part of the body that was just unaccounted for. Yeah, that, that, that is, it, it just, it, that's just baffling that it took them that long to discover. But also at the same time, if you think about it, medicine as we know it hasn't really been around that long. No, that's true. It's like, modern medicine's only like, how long? Like, 150 years? 200 years? It's not even modern, really, that far back. But. Yeah, it's like 200 years. Yeah. Like, it really started ramping up around the Industrial Revolution. Like, 200 to 250 years during the Industrial Revolution was when medicine went from like, uh, I don't know, we ground up a gecko and rubbed it on the wound and we put some salt in your brain and that'll probably fix it, to let's actually look at how the pieces fit together to try and, you know, rebuild someone. And I'm... it's really not been that long in the grand scheme no, of human history. Hasn't. Can I, can I just, just for one minute, be very upset that there's no synergies with the arc weapons? Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to actually do a whole set of synergies with the arc weapons, but by the time I was done making the arc weapons, I was so tired of making the arc weapons. <laughs> it's like I literally, even if I wasn't playing Gunsling, I have battery bullets. That should definitely, definitely be a synergy. Battery battery bullets is a starting item, so uh, on principle, we can't add a synergy for it. On principle, shut up. No. Um, I was gonna add like a thing, a synergy where all arc weapons would have an alternate form where they became the dark weapons. Ooh, that's cool, yeah. And and the lightning would become red and stuff, and it was like Sith lightning. 
Nice. I like that. By the way, I'm already loving this thing with battery bullets anyways, because the accuracy up is incredible with the shotgun. It's making this gun very strong. It still bugs me how the arc weapons are kind of buggy to this day. I think that's just, mm. that guy's just in a wall. Yeah, that's nothing to do with the arc weapon at all. Yeah, but the arc guns are a bit buggy to this day because for some reason that I cannot figure out, sometimes they will just go st like then, just then. They'll hit something and then they'll go straight forever. Ow. And I don't know why. And it, nothing is breaking technically in the code. And I've thought and rethought through the logic a thousand times and I just can't figure it out. And I don't know why. And it drives me up the fucking wall. <laughs> the thing with arc weapons is that they pierce. They're meant to pierce only if there's another enemy nearby that they can arc to. Yeah. They do actually have a splash damage sort of feature where if there's another enemy within a certain range, they will fire towards that other enemy. But it just doesn't work sometimes. And I don't know why. I can't figure out why, and I'm just sort of sitting back and hoping that it's not really that big of an issue and nobody cares <laughs> enough, and that, they're, and that they're all just distracted by the pretty lights and that they don't it, notice the fact that the guns are fucking broken. It seems to only arc, like like you just said, where it pierces if there's another enemy nearby, if that enemy is at low health. If the enemy is at high health, it doesn't seem to pierce. See, I, that's not in the code. That's not in the check for, should I arc to this enemy? There's nothing that checks the enemy's health, so I don't know why that would be happening. But that does seem to be the case. I don't know. Life is an enigma. I'm in pain. Help me. Put me out of my misery. Life is a there was way. actually there was actually supposed to also be an arc grenade and an arc an arc passive that would make guns occasionally fire lightning. Ooh, the passive sounds great. And I just never got around to them because I was so fucking sick and tired of making those guns when like nothing like I sort of reached a point where I was like in that I guess post gun clarity moment <laughs> where the the elation had gone and I was just like oh god I'm so sick of making these fucking <laughs> like they're cool and I love them but god I don't want to work on them yeah they are, they are definitely some of the coolest weapons in your pack I think yeah, I basically woke up one day and I was like, I want to make a gun that does something. Huh. Hello. <laughs> I've not I've not seen this in a long time. Yeah. That's a good thing, by the way. It's a good thing that I haven't seen this in a long time. Because for a while... The synergies? God damn. The, honestly, the rock is one thing that could have a lot of synergies. Sophia, if you want my suggestion, the rock should have different types of synergies for like every like it should have sedimentary it should have igneous it should have a pumice synergy it should have this and that and the other what the there's still some junk in there thing? by the way oh what's the oh shit 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 it's gone you don't need the ammo um yes i might want to save the health or you know use the vampire Oh, God. Shut up, Dad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> there is stuff to do in that room and you're neglecting it. Right, I picked up this, which is... Okay. I picked up this, which I'm... Yeah, that's just a, a magic lamp shotgun, which kind of defeats the purpose of the magic lamp. Wait, is this is this not a synergy of the magic lamp? It's just a new gun? No. No, uh, if you look at the name, it's when you picked it up, it had a different name. Oh, well, yeah, what's the point in this? Who made this? <laughs> it's, I think it's from Knife to a Gunfight, and I think it was one of... Uh, I'm just going to wait till you... Yeah, yeah I think this was one of Ski's more uh, earlier items, when he was I'm... still, like, getting used to stuff, so... I suppose that makes sense, then, yeah, playing around with it. But yeah, I seem to recall this gun from Bunny being weird. Oh, oh shit! What the fuck just happened there? Who the shit in hell knows? 
Ow! Fuck off! You suck at this. I really do at the minute. Like, you've been talking about making the game more challenging, but at the moment you've actually been struggling a lot. Like, I think you've you've gotten so complacent I have. in that's where a, you that's are exactly skill-wise. It. That's exactly it. I, I've gotten to the point with Gungeon where I can't be asked to try hard anymore, so I just don't. But that means that I actually get hit way, way more. I'm not sure- oh, there's a key, so I guess that makes sense. I was gonna ask, why did you come in here? Also, I can use my old master rounds if I've got any. Which I think I do? Yeah, oh no, I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely that. I just- I'm bad at the game. Not because I'm bad at the game, it's because I'm so good at the game that I can't be asked to play well. <laughs> yeah, it's like an it's like an overflow error on your skill level. <laughs> yeah, you've gotten so good, you've wrapped it's, around to the to it, the lowest possible integer. Yeah, because because it, it's kind of like that. It's like that with Isaac too. Now it's like it's kind of boring to try really hard to win when I know I don't need to try hard to win. Yeah, but then you die. Yeah, but I'd rather I'd rather just mess around and not play properly and not win than try to min max and play correctly and kind of be more bored and then win. Oh, I was actually this is something I should bring up. Um, with regards to modding, because you made me think of this because I, you once told me that for the game to really be interesting to you again, you need to have a lot of new like room layouts and enemies and bosses and stuff. Because, like, new items and stuff are all well and good, but you want new, like, foes. Yeah. And, um, that made me think about Gek, which is the Gungeon Enemy Creation Kit, which uh, never got off the ground because everyone involved in making it got, like, bored. <laughs> and Rat, which obviously is a thing, it's the room architect tool. What's with all the weird animals? <laughs> Gek and rat. Uh, weird acronyms has been kind of a thing ever since gay. Ever since gay? What the hell's gay? The gun animation editor. Uh. The name was my suggestion. Nice. Basically, do you see how the character's hands have to sit on a gun when they yeah. fire it? And if you switch to a different custom gun, those hands are in a different place, if you look. Yeah. That obviously doesn't happen automatically. We need to tell the game where the player's hands go on the gun. And that's not just a cosmetic thing either. If we don't, some funky shit starts happening. So, for the longest time, we had to manually calculate, calculate coordinates and make and name and fill in uh, JSON files that told the game where the hands go on each frame of the animation, right? Yeah. And uh, after a while, uh, Anthrax rightly was like, you know what, why are we doing this? And made Gay, the uh, gun animation editor, where it's an actual, just, it's just an interface, it's a program that you load up and you load sprites into, and you drag and drop hands onto them, and then you tell it to generate the file, and it does, and it's amazing. And it saves, like, probably 20 minutes uh, each with each gun made. Nice. Um, and uh, obviously I've talked about Alexandria recently, which is uh, not a dumb acronym. You shouldn't name that a dumb acronym, God. You're ruining it. Oh, but I, I named it something uh, dumb and nerdy instead. I'm waiting for you to say something witty, but you're just not. I'm just, fo I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just focused on, like, trying not to die. And I still get hit. There's so much visual clutter going on right now. But I kind of love it. So, um... Yeah, Alexandria is like a code API, which isn't an external program, but it has the potential to be really useful for allowing external programs to interface with the game. Yeah. Like, if with rat rat reply rat relies on the 
game code knowing how to read room files, right? Yeah. And that game code will not know how to read room files unless you, of course, write it to read them properly. So if we make an alteration to uh, rat that changes something in it, that we then need to change the, the generation code to tell it what that change means. Oh, no. And Alexandria opens up a lot of opportunities there for like one standardized API for rooms. Yeah. Especially with um, not a bot giving the room editor a lot more attention lately as part of like uh, just a personal pet project. Bot is working on um, uh, bringing back some of uh, Spree Create's old uh, additions to the room editor before he went on his hiatus. He's actually yeah. been active again recently. He's not done anything, but it's just good to see him around. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, so Bot has been trying to pick up where SP Create left off and has been basically resurrecting those changes. For example, like square and circle tools and line tools in the editor. And like like having the, the mirror tools and stuff like that, yeah. I don't think there's a mirror tool at the moment, but even just having a tool to draw a buff is so nice. Yeah, I think I think the two tools that, that like would be best for me for like to, to revitalize some of my room creation stuff is a mirror draw tool and a um, like a, a flipper to be able to flip in different directions. Oh, flipping might be difficult, but because yeah, that, that would it. make that would make making multiple rooms so much easier. Because sometimes you want to use the same layout four different times with different enemies, but you don't want it to be the exact same every time. So you have to like slightly move everything, and it just takes way longer than it has to. So being able to either mirror draw or flip would be super useful. Makes sense, yeah. Um, but yeah, bot has also been uh, has been making progress on figuring out how like saw blades and rollers work and all those oh, yeah. traps that that all those traps that like didn't make it into rat because they were too complicated because all the traps in the in the public version of rat are the most basic they are drag yeah, yeah. and drop objects like you can drop a spike anywhere and it'll work but rollers are more complicated because rollers don't just have one thing they, you need to tell them how long they are. You need to tell them where do they roll to and where do they roll from. You need to tell them, like, how fast do they roll, that sort of thing. Uh, like, you need to tell them, are they brown or blue? Because that's actually a thing. You have the different rollers on the different floors. Yeah. And that's not automatic. That's an actual setting in the rollers, like, to tell it, are you icy or not? That's the actual ball, I think. Is icy, true or false? And... There's all that stuff, and saw blades are much the same. You need to tell them how to path around objects. You can't just drop them and watch them go. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Even stuff like uh, Lunk, the Lost Adventurer. Uh, he requires pathing code because he walks back and forth. And that isn't automatic. He works on a path node system that you need to set up manually with the room definition. Fucking hell. <laughs> and so a lot of that stuff just wasn't included. Yeah. Uh, but I believe Bot is working on setting up stuff like uh, more complicated stuff. And with any luck, we'll hopefully be able to see something soon. Nice, I'm looking forward to that sort of stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll get you to make rooms again. Honestly, if the room creator was a little more interesting and a little easier to use, I definitely would. Because I do enjoy making rooms. Like, the ones I made for Expand, I'm really proud of and happy with. It just... Oh, yeah, I'd dude. Made, I'd made so the many tools. so rapidly that I just burnt myself out. The tools that... Like, and, and this isn't even a hypothetical. These are tools that already exist in the in-dev version, and Bot has let me test them. They make it so much nicer to use. Yeah. Even with just like basic shape tools and line tools. Like if you wanted to draw a nice room that was made up of a few squares before, it would I take you like yeah. 
it was a pain, yeah. And, uh, but and now also, you just like draw like, some boxes and trying trying to draw like a room border, like the outline of a room in an actual perfect square was not always just as simple. You had to actually be kind of careful to make sure you didn't like accidentally un like draw one line weirdly. And then if you if you if you'd been holding down the whole time and had to undo. You either had to erase one by one or accidentally undo the whole thing in one go. It's just, yeah, it's just just an all-round all, all round pain. Yeah, there. it's it's nightmarish. Oh, actually, actually, go back into that chest room with the blue chest. I saw something there. It's a statue of the lost. Yeah, I've seen a few of those this episode. Yeah. They're pretty cool. But, um, I did suggest that to Bot, actually. That was my idea. I was like, hey, Bot, do you think you could look into this, see how possible it is to make custom character statues that go into the normal statue rotation. And Bot did it in like a day because Bot's a fucking genius. Nice. Yeah, I gotta say, I like um, that. I think, I think it's a really good idea. Yeah, I eventually want to do that for the shade when I fig figure out how, and ideally when it's more streamlined of a process. Because we can't all be geniuses. Did. I don't know what somebody did, but somebody definitely broke the way that secret rooms generate, because now they're all, the wall is always automatically cracked on every single secret room for me. Because he said that was just something that happened for his secret rooms, you know, the ones that had, like, special stuff in them. Um, yeah. But, but it just it affects literally every secret room. They're already automatically cracked for every secret room. Yeah, that's not ideal. Um... Speaking of secret rooms, I actually also want to make more secret rooms. Because, like, my mod indirectly nerfs secret rooms by making them harder to find because my chest rooms are, are different layouts. Yeah. They're layouts... Because, like, in the base, in vanilla, you know every layout. You're like, oh, the doors can be here, here, or here, yeah. and here. But in my mod, you, these are rooms that you're not necessarily super familiar with. So Definitely you don't know the where the secret rooms could be, so it's harder to find them. So I want to make new secret rooms that are more rewarding to sort of balance it's, that out. I kind of did that with expand, not not really out of necessity of having uh, different secret, uh, different item room layouts. Obviously, I, the expand doesn't add any of those. But I I found that, or at least I thought that a lot of the secret room NPCs were no like not that powerful, but ridiculous ridiculously rare for no real good reason so i added like i think it's 20 rooms to expand for every single one of the rare npcs oh yeah dude they have never legit found the old man yeah so i've i've found i've legit found the old man like twice and the witches maybe three times but i've never found um the the, mon the 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 one dressed as an owl. What the hell's that called? Yeah, monster monster manual. Yeah, I've never found monster manual legit, and it's just it's just stupid because like none like they all basically give you one item, and even the witches cost you an item to do. So it's like I don't get why they're so rare. Like it's not like a rainbow chest where it gives you insane value, but they feel about as rare as rainbow chests. So yeah, I added like twenty different rooms for each one. Um, just yeah, so I, that I, I would common. be less. I would be more supportive of that if the rooms you made weren't shit. One of them's really bad. The rest are fine. Like, there's, there's yeah, one... Yeah, that, that narrow one with yes, the witches. Yes, Where they're, like, half jammed inside a wall and they're that, dying in agony. That one is legit awful. The rest of them are fine. Because you didn't fucking test it? Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly that. I didn't test it at all. Because I'm a goober. But yeah, there's a lot been going on in the modding scene. And one thing I wanted to talk about is... This is going to sound really mundane, but item tags. Because Alexandria has a system now where items can be tagged with a with a string, which for anyone who doesn't know what programming terms is, a string is just text. It's like words. Um, so we could tag, we can tag items now through Alexandria with uh, string information that lets us group items into groups, and that will work across mods as long as each mod uses Alexandria. And potential applications of that are like, you know how Cell has that, uh, Sophia has that chest with bullet items in yeah. it? Yeah. We, if uh, Sophia was to change that chest to use all items tagged with bullet modifier... It could just work across mods without having to automatically it could, like, manually add yeah. uh, compatibility. Yeah. If it then, yeah, if, if all mods added, like, the tag bullet modifier to their bullet modifiers, 
it would work automatically uh, through that, Alexandria that, that, that without Sophia needing be, to do anything. That would definitely be way, way better. I'd like that. Because uh, one, one, thing, one thing that... The, it's completely understandable in pretty much any game, but always sucks, is when big mods don't have compatibility across the mods. Because it's like, you kind of, you want to feel like it's all seamless and all part of one sort of run. And also all part of one oh, thing. We don't get um, to talk more. <laughs> I've, I've got, I, it's, it's just gone over I an hour, to, so. Um, I wanted to talk at you more. But, with um, you, at you. Not with me, at me. But yes, um... So it's, it's always nice when mods can, like, work with each other, even if it's only in slight forms like that, like just having a modded chest except all the modded bullet modifiers sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's so something I haven't really done. It's something I haven't really done with my mod because I'm stupid. Like, wouldn't wouldn't that also make it, if, if you added tags, like you could add tag bullet modifier, but then if you added a tag that was like... That was just like the name of the gun or the name of the item. Couldn't that make cross mod synergies a little easier too? Because you could just check for that tag rather than having to search for the item. I or mean, that be, yeah, would that be the it, exact it, same? Would it not it, be any it easier? Would, it would be slightly easier, but it would also clutter the tag system. So, so while you can definitely do that, what? The game for us. I literally can't do anything. No, this isn't a freeze. This is a, a glitch with the end screen. I can't, um, I can't do anything though. Oh, I can, I can yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. It's a glitch with the end screen, I think, caused by uh, bot's character API. Uh, I think a fix for this has already been like made, but it hasn't been pushed to all the mods that use character API yet. Yeah. So this shouldn't be a thing any longer. It's just like the end screen is no longer interactable for no good reason. Ah, fair. Anyways, I think that's a good point to end this off. Um, I, I wish we could go a bit longer, but unfortunately, I'm a busy bee. I've got things to do in place to Yeah, do. he's gonna he's gonna fuck off and not talk to me for a week and I'm gonna be alone. <laughs> sitting in a pile <laughs> of my own tears. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. It was definitely fun to record again. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a bye bye.